Let's spend a little bit of time talking about communication style matching. First, some baseline elements. First baseline element I want you to consider is that everybody communicates in a little bit different style. The four primary styles that we're going to consider today and, and think about are direct, very straightforward communication style, a very relational style, a soft-spoken style, and then also a very data-centric style. The additional baseline that I want you to consider is that if styles are not effectively matched or uh, if, if there's no empathy or no modification that occurs, there's going to be data that's lost in the communication process. Uh, that can also include, if there's not a modification, it, there can also be some conflicts that develop among people. Third thing that I want you to consider, and this may well be the most important, in a leadership role, the burden of making an adaptation is solely placed on the leader. You know, in a perfect world, everybody would make mutual adaptations and everybody would communicate in kind of this blended style approach, but unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. Equally in a perfect world, everybody would have a little name tag that says, hi, I'm Tim, I'm very direct, get to the point with me, or hi, I'm Tim, I'm very relational, please make small talk. But again, we don't exist in a perfect world, and that's why that burden rests solely on leaders. Now let's talk about the adaptation process for just a moment. If you detect from someone that you're talking to someone that is very direct and to the point, usually you see that in one word responses. You also tend to see it a little bit in assertiveness of responses. It then becomes your job to modify your natural approach and style to meet that. If you, uh, it, by contrast, if you interact with someone who is very relational, a lot of small talk, a lot of detail thrown in, then it's your call to be more relational and be more interactive with them. Uh, you'll also tend to note that those kind of people tend to be more upbeat in their communication tone approach as well. If you detect somebody that's a little bit more on the reserve side, that tends to be doing more listening than interacting, it's also then your job at that point to adapt to that style and become a little bit more low-key. Final style that I want you to consider is if you detect somebody that is very, very data-centric and accuracy-driven, you have to kind of go to that mode too. You have to go back and get out of bullet points and get out of relational mode and get into fact-based structure. Again, the key element that I really want you to remember is it's the burden of leader to make the decision to adapt and it's the burden of leader to change his or her style to adapt effectively to others.